As I arrived in Saltburn on this glorious morning, the sun was just coming up, and as I got to the boat, the sun was just coming over the bow. John and Mike were just preparing the boat as I got there. What an amazing sight. I couldn't wait to get this boat in the water and get fishing. So down here on Saltburn Esplanade, ready for John to launch his boat, the Flora Marie. Let's take you over for a look. So here she is, our vessel for the day. So she's going to take us out two miles offshore into the waters just off Saltburn. And um, we're hopefully going to be getting some lots of crab and lobster today to, to cook in the restaurant and um, to make a, an amazing meal for our customers. So I'm just on the boat now, ready to launch. And um, we're going to take it down onto the beach, reverse it into the water, and uh, then we're going to be away. As we set off and head down onto the beach, I'm really looking forward to the fishing trip that's ahead of us. And then we go down the ramp and get this tractor onto the beach. The old Fordson made you, which all these guys use to get the uh, boats into the water, the good old workhorse of the fishermen. And then as you can see, Mike's just driving us towards the water there. Beautiful sunrise in the, in the background and the beach there at Red Car as well. So as Mike swings the tractor around and gets us facing the backwards to go into the water, he reverses in. And then in a second or two, John starts up the engine. And as Mike reverses into the water, John gets ready to put the boat into reverse to pull the boat off the trolley and into the water. And there we go, we're afloat and away. What a beautiful morning for fishing. And we have some company out this morning. Sean Elliott, the photographer, joins us. The beautiful crystal clear waters of the North Sea. I never expected it to be as clear as this, but it is really, really clear and blue out there. And then as we head towards the fishing areas just off Saltburn, you can see Saltburn come into view. Those little white dots on the horizon over there are actually Saltburn. And I did a little screenshot. So you can see the little blue dot there is where the fishing grounds are and that's where we were on the boat at the time. And then there exactly is where the Seaview restaurant is. So it's not really that far away. Absolutely fantastic. And as we hit our first mark, John starts the winches and starts getting the, the rig together to get the pots up. Here comes the first one. Have we got anything in this one? We've got a small lobster in there. Mike hands it to John to find out whether it's big enough to thing. He gets his gauge out. Besides, it's not big enough to keep. Really good conservation going on here as well, so they don't keep anything. Um, and that one there that's just come back into the water had eggs on it, so Mike replaced that back into the water straight away to live another day and to keep the stocks going for the future of lobster fishing uh, outside Saltburn. Absolutely amazing. Once we have all the pots on board, they all get restocked and then Mike casts them all out again. So these are the pots going back into the water on the lines. And these pots dive into the water and go down about 60 foot all the way to the bottom again, hopefully to catch some more lobster for the days, the days coming. So there are about 40 pots on a line as we cruise back into shore uh, and we have a look at what we've caught that day as well. So here are all the lobsters going into the live cages. These live cages are kept uh, about 100 metres offshore in the water, so they're kept live till uh, John needs them and he goes, goes back out to get them. So he gets them from his pots and puts them in his live cages. And then from there, he goes out when they're required and requested. And these will be for our famous crab brioche. Delicacy that um, everyone's come to expect at Seaview Restaurant. And there they go, the crab's gonna go into the water now to be kept for another day until John wants to go back out and get them. And then it's a small hop back into shore where the boat's removed from the water and then we take it back up onto land. What an amazing day. I really can't wait to get back out there with John fishing again. 